Hi everyone, this is Sophie with MochaBees.com. Today we're going to be reviewing Cold Brew Coffee by High Brew. Today we're going to be taste testing three flavors from High Brew. These cold brew coffees come in five different flavors, but I could only manage to get a hold of three of them at my local Target. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the salted caramel, the Mexican vanilla, and the dark chocolate mocha flavor. These also come in two other flavors, double espresso and black and bold, which is dairy free. These drinks come in eight ounce cans and they run between 50 and 60 calories, which is pretty low for a drink like this that includes milk. And part of the reason is because it's made with both stevia and sugar. I'm not particularly a big fan of stevia. It's okay until you quit sipping on it and it has kind of a weird aftertaste. So I'll be curious to see whether or not it's better when it's cut with regular sugar. First step is the salted caramel flavor. I gotta say, right off the bat, these smell really amazing. That cold brew coffee smell just kind of immediately hits you as soon as you open the can. All right, let's give this one a taste. So you can definitely taste the caramel flavor. The coffee flavor isn't bitter. It's quite smooth, it's very pronounced, but it is kind of overpowered by the caramel flavor. I am not a huge fan of caramel, but to me the stevia aftertaste kind of overpowers everything. So I'm not sure that this particular flavor is something I'd get again. It tastes very similar to like a coffee mate creamer kind of taste. This isn't really something I'd go back for. Our next flavor is Mexican vanilla. This flavor, as you can probably see, is a little bit foamier. Then the other one, uh, it's kind of dissipated here between shots, but let's give this one a try. That one's actually really good. I can't say it tastes like vanilla per se, more like kind of a just a generic sweetness, but it's quite good. The coffee flavor kind of comes through a lot more on this one than the caramel flavor. I don't really detect an aftertaste from that stevia. This one I'd have again. I think a lot more refreshing and not as sticky sweet as the caramel flavor, so this one's not bad. And lastly we have the dark chocolate mocha flavor. This one, as you can see, much darker than the others, a little foamier than the others. Consistency was about the same, still like a typical cold brew drink, just kind of on the thin side. Not bad looking, but let's give it a shot. This is the one I was looking forward to the most, and unfortunately I was not a big fan of it. It just kind of tastes a little chemical like. And in looking at the ingredients on the can, I mean, the closest thing you come to cocoa is natural flavors, so I'm assuming cocoa is in there somewhere, but that's an assumption on my part. It just really doesn't taste like chocolate to me, other than kind of having that maybe a dark chocolate bite at the end of it, just that little bit of bitterness. It's very sweet, and the sweetness definitely overpowers the coffee flavor. But uh, overall, this one's a little bit disappointing. I don't think I'd have this one again. So overall, after drinking all three, if you're not a fan of stevia, you're probably not going to be a fan of these. I will say that at 60 calories, you do get a lot, so if you're looking at watching your weight, these would be a great alternative for a refreshing coffee drink. I'd be really interested to try the other flavors that they didn't have available to me locally, the double espresso and the black and bold. Because I think both of those flavors are going to be more coffee based and they won't rely so much on that stevia flavor. I have heard really good things about both of those flavors so as soon as I can get a hold of them I'll be sure to bring a review out to you. As for these three flavors, the Mexican vanilla is probably my favorite of the three. The other two I probably would not go out of my way to get. The sweetness in those two flavors, the salted caramel and the dark chocolate mocha, for me at least it was just too overwhelming, completely overpowered the coffee flavor. On the Mexican vanilla though, I thought it was a really nice balance between the sweetness and the coffee flavor. But this is just one person's opinion. I encourage you to get out there, try these for yourself, form your own opinion. Remember at the end of the day, the best coffee is the one you enjoy the most. So thanks for checking out another review with me. Remember to hit that subscribe button at the end of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.